been a lot of deliberation and a fair amount of speculation in the aftermath of the Dublin disappointment. But on Saturday against Scotland, the most important people in the equation will issue their response. Welcome to O2 Inside Live. Well, we've got a double dose of Billy this week. Welcome along, guys. It's a young team that is you know, learning its way in international rugby. How big a lesson is taking the points when they're on offer? Uh, Forty knew it at the time that we had the penalty. Um, and I think nothing was really on at the moment or during the phases. You can see here there's only one guy hitting the ruck. Um, so for Forty just to drop out a shot here and use the fours as a screen to, to drop ball was just obviously shows a bit of maturity. But. It's just good play from I think from 1 to 15 there. We, we talk about putting pressure on. A lot of teams have got you know 14 in the front line. It's difficult to score tries with but um, you know Forty's picked his head up well there and um, obviously took the opportunity and good communication with Youngsy and uh, put the pressure back on Ireland. So you've also got the eight shirt back. Billy, where do you feel you've made the most improvement recently in your game? I think I've been working on all areas, you know, um, especially over the ball, trying to give myself another dimension. And on here, I think I just got a bit lucky because uh, Conor Murray probably thought I'd go put it through my legs. You've been working on your kicking game? Uh, no, that was the only option I had. That's <laughs> so, a great option. That's so, a good option. Um, unlucky. I think we're surrounded by all Irish players, so I thought I'd give it a little dabble. I wouldn't have liked to be in their fullback. I think he's pretty, pretty happy that he put the ball on the toe, but. Um, you know, it's what we want from our number eights, carrying the carry ball like that, it's unreal. And what about this weekend? What kind of a backlash can Scotland expect? I think um, we've focused on ourselves the last couple of weeks, um, what we can do as a team better, whether it's you know defence, attack, you know, the breakdown area, if we get our set piece right. But you know, being at home at Twickenham against Scotland, it's a massive game for both teams, especially after the, both back off defeats. So, um, you know, we'll have a big training week and focus on ourselves and come out all guns blazing. Listen guys, we can't wait to watch it on Saturday. Billy, thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you very much. Well, just the two changes for England's starting 15. You goes alongside to run the rule over selection. First and foremost, Mike Brown back in at 15. How angry a man has he been over the last two weeks waiting for his chance again? He's been frustrated, no doubt, watching the game against Ireland as well. I mean, it was raining Gilbert's at the Aviva Stadium last weekend and no doubt Scotland are going to test them in that area, but there's not a better player in England in terms of in terms of catching that ball. That security at the back will give England so much confidence going forward. And what about Courtney Laws as well? What do you think he will give England? on his return to the second row. He's a, he's a warrior around the pitch. We know about his work rate in terms of tackling and smashing rucks and all the rest of it. But the line-up's going to be a key, key area for England. Everything good they've done over the last year has been based on their set piece. So line-out and scrum time is going to be huge. Good stuff. England obviously desperate to get back to winning ways. Let's get the thoughts of the head coach, Stuart Lancaster. I think there's a collective level of experience we've brought in, not just with Courtney, but also with, with Jeff Parlin on the bench as well. You know, obviously leading into the uh, Six Nations, we had quite a lot of injuries in the second row at one time, and I think Dave Atwood and George Cruz have done a brilliant job. But Courtney was fantastic for us in those internationals. His presence um, around the field, but his also presence in the set piece now is, 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 uh, is big for us. From my personal point of view, it's about our individual performances and, and stepping up a level um, and uh, making sure that we um, give everything for the shirt for the full 80 minutes, and that's what any England fan should expect from the team, and, and I'm sure we'll deliver that. James, congratulations on selection, particularly you, Jeff. I imagine there have been some long, lonely hours in the gym getting back to this point. How good is it to be wearing the rose again? Great to be back, mate. Um, obviously, I won't feel anything really until I get back out there on the pitch, but i um, keen to be back involved and looking forward to contribute at the weekend. Played against Scotland a couple of times, always a difficult opponent. How are England going to get their back line functioning this weekend? Yeah, I think it's going to be a tough test for us. Um, you know, we've got to get our kicking game right and our set piece right, and I think you know, we're going to have to be direct um, and the right to go wide because we know it's going to be a massive battle for us but um, it's one that we've prepared well for in the week and we're ready for that. Scotland a bit of a wounded beast having lost their last three. What are the particular concerns coming to this game? Well, I think you can say they're a wounded beast but you know we want to address some things that went wrong for us in the, in the last game as well. We want to right those wrong so um, I think it's going to be a, a fiery game. I think the start's going to be key. They want to come down to, to Twickenham and, and get under our skin and see if they can get into us and we've just got to make sure they stick to our game plan and do what we do well. OK, we're going to finish with a bit of a stat, which is that England haven't lost to Scotland at Twickenham since 1983, which was 11 years before you were born. <laughs> and we'll spare you the blushes of revealing your date of birth. But, gents, the very best of luck. Anthony, I hope it goes really well. Jeff, great to see you back. And, of course, we'll be back at Twickenham on Saturday with the full story with O2 Inside Line. 